Let's face it, it happens to us all. Some of us, hopefully sooner rather than later, but it happens nonetheless. We get older and eventually we retire. But what then? Gardening? Hobbies? Traveling? For many, retirement means getting a new pet to focus on. In America, that's most frequently a dog. But which dog? In today's video from The Most, we'll go over some of the best dog breeds for retirees with a range of sizes and energy levels. So let's go. First up, we have the Pug. Pugs are commonly known to have interesting personalities. From the way they snort and snore to the way they can often be mischievous, they're entertaining while still being a great member of the family. While they're not built for extreme conditions, Pugs can have long and healthy lives. With short hair, they're very easy to groom, but they do shed and their face folds need to be kept clean. Pugs don't necessarily require a lot of exercise, like many other small breeds, but they are great companions on daily walks. A fun-loving pug is easy to please and makes for a great companion. Coming in two varieties, the Welsh Corgi consistently ranks high among breeds recommended for retirees. One of the larger, small dogs, the Corgi does have two distinct breeds, the Pembroke and the Cardigan. The Pembroke is commonly seen just as the tailless version, and the Cardigan as the one with the tail. It's important to note that they are two different breeds with different personalities. An interesting fact about Corgis. The Cardigan is much older than the Pembroke and is one of the oldest dog breeds originating from the British Isles. Cardigans are slightly larger and heavier than the Pembroke, often weighing 8 to 10 pounds more. The Pembroke is often seen as the more outgoing of the two, with the Cardigan being a little more reserved. However, both breeds have happy personalities and are excellent with children, so grandkids are welcome with Corgis. Both versions of the Welsh Corgi were originally bred as herding dogs, so they're intelligent, easily trainable, and very loyal to their families. Corgis appreciate a good bit of mental stimulation, so if you're looking for a smaller dog that can handle being your buddy, learning a wide variety of new skills, the Corgi may be your breed. The Corgi does tend to shed, so regular brushing is recommended. Being a herding breed, both Corgi varieties will need a little bit more exercise than the others on our list. But, if you're a retiree looking to get out and be active, the Corgi is a great choice. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell to be alerted of the latest content from the most. Next up, the French Bulldog, or the Frenchie as it's commonly referred to. Frenchies has become a very popular breed recently. This may be partly because of its role in the hit comedy of Modern Family, but regardless, the Frenchie is well deserving of its popularity because of its personality and ease of ownership. Intelligent, playful, and adaptable, the French Bulldog is an easy addition to almost any home. Coming in a wide variety of colors, this breed is fun and energetic, but not recommended for high amounts of prolonged exercise because of its shortened snout. Their coat is easy to tend to because they shed very little. Just routine brushing keeps these little guys looking their best. Their personalities are alert and playful. While not necessarily barkers, their alert nature makes them good guard dogs for smaller homes. The Schnauzer. Coming in three varieties, miniature, standard, and giant. The Schnauzer has a variety for everyone. The most common varieties, however, are the Miniature and the Standard. While not having drastically different personalities, they are different breeds, so they do possess different characteristics. The Standard is the oldest of the varieties and often possesses a bit more of an independent and bold personality. They are breeds considered to be hypoallergenic because they shed very little but their double coat does require some maintenance. Schnauzers are often very playful and good with children. All varieties are active breeds and they do require daily exercise. So if you're looking for a loyal and active breed that comes in a variety of size options, the Schnauzer may be the one for you. Last up, 
we have the Havanese. As its name implies, the Havanese was originally bred and developed in Cuba. Often confused with the Maltese or the Shih Tzu, the Havanese is its own breed with great characteristics making it an excellent choice for many retirees. A bit larger than the Maltese and the Shih Tzu, the Havanese does have a long coat and requires brushing and regular grooming. The Havanese is widely regarded as a very playful breed. They need light to moderate exercise, so walks and playing around in the yard are often enough for them. Being very social dogs, the Havanese doesn't usually do well when left alone for long periods. This makes them an excellent choice for retirees looking for a furry companion to be by your side at all times. While there are obviously more than five breeds that would make for excellent companions for seniors and retirees, this list from the most will get you started. What video would you like to see next? Leave a comment below. We post weekly focusing on the best, the worst, and the most amazing content. Until next time.